From all of us here at the Wood Den in Festus, Missouri, we'd like to thank you for placing an order. And uh, so as you can see, these are some of our memorial benches. And we realize that when it arrives, there's go going to be a little bit of assembly required. Uh, we'll make it as simple as possible. Uh, always feel free to take a look at our website and see what other kind of products we make. And let me introduce you to Alex. And Alex will show you how to assemble your memorial bench step by step. All right. So <clears throat> when you get your bench, it'll come apart in these few pieces here. You're gonna have your two uprights and the screws that you'll need, all, all the screws you'll need are gonna be stuck still in the upright. So first, you gotta get the upright in these slots. So you'll be able to tell which upright goes in which slot based on the screws. So you know that since the screws are this way to go into this leg and it fits in this slot, that it goes on this side. You'll be able to tell the height and the angle that it was designed so that the back is at the right angle. Based on some lines down here, usually in the polyurethane, because it was polyurethane built, you'll be able to tell where the polyurethane ends. And so we know it goes like this. We know it goes flush up against that leg. You should get an, a bit that you can use either in a drill or an impact. Do the same thing on the other side. Now you can stand it up. Then we'll put on the back. Just got to remove these completely. So the back doesn't actually just set down on the seat. It'll be raised, and so what you want to do, the easiest thing to do, is to start your top two. Not all the way through, just get them ready. And we've leveled it so that the words read level. So if you can hit the old screw holes where the screw came out, as you can see here, this is where this screw was in here when we put it together the first time before we took it apart for shipping. So you can get this one started. Or it's always handy to have a second person, but one person can do it. I can see the screw coming out the back of the bench. I can get it in right in that hole. And now I know right where it's supposed to be. You want to sink it so that the screw is flush so that it looks best, but you don't want to sink it too far. With a thin piece of wood, there's always a chance of cracking. That's about it. Okay. All right, and if you have any trouble, give us uh, a holler. And we do all kinds of other things, so look for us if you need a carving, flat sign customized, um, furniture, bar tops, uh, live edge, lumber, all those things. So look us up again, and thank you again for your business.